On. We're on. Welcome to the City Council meeting for April 25th, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, just to let you know there's a problem with the cable tonight, and uh, we are being taped, but we are not on live. Councilor Razak. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I would like to uh, allow Ms. Lynn Smith to come up and tell us a little bit about an event that's happening at the Frederick Douglass Garden soon. <coughs> no objection. Ms. Smith, good, good evening. Uh, thank you, Councillor Azak. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And thank you to the members of the Chamber of the City Council and also to our audience at home. My name is Lynn Smith. I'm a volunteer with the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association and would like to extend to everyone here and everyone home an invitation to come to our event on May 1st, that's a Sunday afternoon, 12.30 to 3 o'clock in the garden. You know, our organization, the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, was founded in 2014 to commemorate the 10-year anniversary of the renaming of High Street to Frederick Douglass Avenue. Since that formation, we have hosted many events and activities. We placed a historic sign at the Liberty Tree, once a stop of the Underground Railroad during the Civil War, with the help of the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board WAVE Summer Youth Program. We hosted a summer ice cream Sunday social with partners South Shore Haitians United for Progress, the Assembly of God Church, Messiah Baptist Church, Central United Methodist Church, and the um, members of the community downtown. We have led holiday history lantern walks for the young folks in Brockton where they make their own lanterns and we walk through downtown and they learn about the history of downtown. And we're the folks that brought you the four little free libraries and we have four more little free libraries coming up as well. Last year we got a $10,000 grant from Mass Humanities and we had a community conversation and put historic signs in the garden honoring Amakal Cabrera of Cape Verde, Toussaint Louverture of Haiti, Daniel O'Connell of Ireland, and Susan B. Anthony of the United States. This year we have received additional funding from Mass Humanities and we're going to do a public communal reading of a speech of Frederick Douglass. It's done by many other communities in Massachusetts, but Brockton is the only city that reads that speech in multiple languages, in English, in Haitian Creole, and in Cape Verde uh, Creole. And we could only do that with the help of our partners, Haitian Community Partners, and the Cape Verdean Association. We also this year applied for 501c3 status, and we are now an official nonprofit as recognized by the laws of the IRS. So now it's time for a little celebration. So we're going to celebrate spring. So May 1st, in the Douglas Garden from 12.30 to 3. We have a wonderful group supporting us. First of all, we have South Shore Gardening, Buy, Sell, and Trade, who are going to come with free seeds and bare root plants to swap. The Brockton Gardening Club will be there to help people like me who do not have a green thumb to answer <laughs> questions. Wilbur's Apiary of Taunton will be there to talk a little bit about the effect that some of the chemicals we're using have on bees and they'll be se selling little jars of honey from their own beehive. The farm at Stonehill College will be there and they have donated almost a hundred seedlings so that people can go home with free plants from the garden. The Boys and Girls Club will be there because they're our workers in the garden. They clear it and keep it clean for us. George and his crew at Hawkeye fixed our fence for us. And the environmental science class of Massasoit Community College will be there to plant a peach tree in the garden. And we're going to dedicate that peach tree to Reverend Lee Harmon. He'll be in good company in the garden because we have another corner in the garden that's planted in the memory of Carl Yancey, the young man who lost his life a few years ago. But the best part of this is Good Samaritan Me Medical Center has stepped up to the plate. They're going to come and do free skin screenings and give out free information and product to help us all stay safe in the summer. You know, skin cancer does not discriminate whether your face is white or brown or black. 
you're affected. And so we'll be talking about safety in the sun, hydration, uh, heat stroke, they'll give out free product, and the best possible thing, and we have to say thank you so much for Eric Wojcik and his team. They have given us a grant so that we can put a shade structure up in the garden so when people come and visit and sit and read, they'll be protected as well. So come and join us. All of the details are on our website, Douglas with two S's, douglasbrockton.org. Uh, we believe that everybody deserves to live in a neighborhood that's safe and beautiful and clean and welcoming. And we all work very hard with our partners, with our ward counselor, Tom Monahan. And we thank again, uh, Councillor Azak, for allowing us this opportunity and for your indulgence as well. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good luck. All set. Item number one. The approval of the City Council minutes of April 11, 2016. Questions on approval of the, of the minutes. All those in favor? Opposed? The minutes are accepted. The appointment of Deidre M. Smith, 779 Ash Street, as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Richard Bath, 38 Frost Street, to replace Alan Morosso as a member of the Council on Aging Board for a three-year term ending April 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Robert Graham, 6 Alphonse Road, to replace Betty Goldsmith as a member of the Council on Aging Board for a three-year term ending April 2019. Refer to finance. We have a hearing of the petition of Jordan Danielle for a license to solicit and canvas on behalf of Solar City, a clean energy provider. Mr. Donnell here tonight. Why don't you step forward to the rostrum? Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Which, if Mr. Donnell, you can give your name to the clerk. State your name. Jordan Donnell. Donnell. And uh, this is, uh, I believe, we had uh, counsel of someone here a couple of weeks ago. Would you give us a little background on Solar City and what you'll be looking to do? Yes. Uh, actually, it was my brother. Um, so, Solar City, we're a clean energy provider. I'm coming before you today to get a pr approval for my solicitor's, my solicitor's permit, which will give me approval to go around door to door in the city to uh, offer clean energy to the citizens of Brockton. Thank you. Council, is there any questions? Will you be wearing an ID? Yes. Thank you. I Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Before we vote, any other questions, counselors? Question is on granting the license. All those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted. Thank, Thank you. you and good luck. <laughs> Item number six. We have the petition of Timeless Antiques for renewal of secondhand precious metals and gems, license located at 1208 Belmont Street, Brockton. Refer to public safety. <clears throat> petition of Ideal Pawn for renewal of secondhand precious metals and gems, a license located at 242 Main Street, Brockton. Refer to public safety. Petition of Cowan Enterprises, Inc., uh, Cowan's Taxi for two additional taxi licenses located at 383 Warren Avenue. Refer to public safety. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 19th, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. An occasion from the mayor stating that Maria Harris is no longer able to serve a diversity commission. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from DPW Commissioner requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of a donation of two RS non network level two single head wall mount electric vehicle charges with Nesson 24 for use by the Department of Public Works the two 2015 Nissan Leaf electric vehicles in accordance with the submitted donation agreement and that the City Council authorizes the Mayor by and through the Commissioner of Public Works to expense said agreement. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a case from the Executive Director of the Parking Authority requesting a total transfer of $51,051.08 from personal services full-time, 22500 personnel services stipend, $2,418.68, personnel services part-time, 26000 personnel services holiday, 
$132.40. Two, ordinary maintenance electricity, $1,600. <coughs> ordinary maintenance snow removal, $48,301. Ordinary maintenance goods, $1,150.08. Accepted and placed on file. We have the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an order that the city council of the city of Brockton finds that there is a clear need for urban renewal plan in order to achieve the approved policy objectives of downtown Brockton. That the city council approves the boundaries of the downtown urban revitalization plan as depicted in map one A, boundaries and topography. In council, March 28, 2016, ready right for the Committee on Finance, a <coughs> public hearing was held. Uh, council, is my error last week. I did not ask for a vote. That needs to be referred back to finance. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton, acting pursuant to Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws, <coughs> excuse me, hereby approves the Downtown Brockton District Improvement Financing Program a development program pursuant to Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws, appending the order approved in 2015, 2015, establishing the Downtown Brockton District uh, District. In Council March 28, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. Public hearing was held. Refer to Finance. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton has been designated ordered that the city of Brockton has been designated as a gateway community by the Commonwealth of Mass and that the Commonwealth has implemented the housing development and center program to encourage the development of market rate housing and gateway communities through state tax credits to qualify development projects. In council March 28, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Mr. President. Council Farwell. Mr. President, this item refers uh, to items 17 and 18. They're actually linked. And since we've sent the other two back, I would move at this time to send this back to FinCom so we can all fully discuss all of the relevant issues uh, together. Second. Motion is made and seconded to send this item back to finance. All those in favor? Uh, keep your hands up, please. Two, three, four, five, six. So, so moved, uh, sent to finance. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton adopts a downtown action strategy as a principal policy roadmap for revitalizing downtown in Council March 28, 2016. Refer to the Committee on Finance. <clears throat> that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ranieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> Sullivan. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. Max Place at 103 Claremont Avenue, Brockton. So a member of the Conservation Commission for a three year term and in January 2019. Spicer is replacing Greg Pina, who resigned for the Conservation Commission. And Council April 11, <coughs> 2016, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. No. Cruz. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative, one in the negative. The appointment is confirmed. Appointment of Brenda Perez, 44 Boyle Road, is a member of the Diversity Commission for a three year term ending April 2019 and Council April 11, 2016. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ranieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The, uh, roll co the confirmation is confirmed. Appointment is confirmed. Audit in compliance with the provisions of the election laws. Notice is hereby given that the state primary will be held on Thursday, September 8, 2016, and Council April 11, 2016. Refer to the Finance Committee. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. 
The order is adopted. Audit in compliance with the provision of the election laws, a notice was hereby given that the state election will be held on Tuesday, November 8, 2016, and Council April 11, 2016, referred to the <coughs> Committee on Finance. I report as favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Vinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of four thousand dollars from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Public Health Fiscal 2016 Mass Decontamination Unit Grant to Brockton Fire Department Fiscal 2016 Mass Decontamination Unit Grant Fund and Council April 11, 2016, referred to the Finance Committee. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Kavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. In the, the order is adopted. Appropriation of $20,000 authorized under Chapter 46 of the Acts of 2015, Section 2, Item 1599-0026, from the Department of Revenue for Local Services on behalf of the Executive Office for Administration and Finance Development for Formal Financial Policies Grant to Brockton Finance Department Development of Formal Financial Policy Grant Fund. And Council April 11, 2016, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Kavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $46,600 from Fiscal 16, Senator Charles E. Shannon, CSI Local Action Research Partner Grant to Brockton Police Department. Department Fiscal 16, Senator Charles E. Shannon, CSI Local Action Research Partner Grant Fund. End Council April 11, 2016. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Sullivan the order is adopted. An appropriation of $75,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Division, Physical 16 Sustain Enforcement Grant to the Brockton Police Department, Physical 16 Sustain Enforcement Grant Fund, and Council April 11th. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Powell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Transfer of $200,000 from Law Department Ordinary Maintenance to Law Department Workers' Compensation and Council April 11th, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Powell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the experiment. The order is adopted. Transfer of $4,500 from Finance Department Personal Services, full-time salaries, to Traffic Commission Public Safety, Ordinary Maintenance Services, to fund an engineering study for the intersection of Forest Avenue and Bouvet Avenue, and Council April 11, 2016, referred to the <clears throat> Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. All that Mr. Steve Bernard, Brockton resident and Brockton NAACP official, appeared before the City Council Finance Committee to inform and update the members relative ongoing efforts within our community pertaining to prostate cancer awareness, education, and associated testing practices and procedures. In Council April 11, 2016, referred to the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. 
Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Resolve is adopted. I'll have Gary Leonard, 821, Michael Reedy, and Robert Jenkins, Brockton Redevelopment Authority, to explain the role of Main Street Manager. Resolve to call the above name to update us on the proposed projects and future projects on Main Street, and to describe the responsibilities of the Main Street Manager and to whom does he report, results of recent job performance, and under what financing does a position provide his salary. In Council April 11, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is unfavorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azaz. Yes. Barnes. No. Beauregard. No. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. No. Harwell. <laughs> no. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. No. Studensky. Yes. Sullivan. No. Five in the affirmative, six in the negative. The resolve is not adopted. Resolved that Mrs. Jadis Fitzgerald, Executive Director of the Brockton Council on Aging, appear before the Finance Committee to provide a status update on the COA and to discuss all efforts to prepare for the aging process. In Council April 11, 2016, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. <coughs> Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Ace Hat. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Resolve is adopted. Resolve that the City Council of the City of Brockton hereby request that fiscal 17, Chapter 70 budget funding for low income students be revised so that the community district educate the vast majority of low income or economically disadvantaged students are adequately assisted in accomplishing this objective. In Council April 11, 2016, ready to refer the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Overgard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Miami. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Lebanon, the, the resolve is adopted. Resolved. Members of the 21st Century Corp come before a committee of this council to update the council on the Rock Stadium and the Conference Center. In council March 14, 2016, Renner referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is unfavorable. Mr. President, we never got a chance to actually vote on this um, because they never got a chance to give us the update at the last finance meeting. So can I refer it back to finance? Uh, we did vote on it because we took them collectively, but you can make a motion to send it back to finance. I make a motion to send second. it back to finance. Motion made and seconded to send this item back to finance. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? <clears throat> refer to finance. <clears throat> An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton by amending Division 2, the Employee Classification Plan. That order is referred to ordinance. <laughs> An ordinance amending Chapter 7 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton by adding the section required commercial premises to provide and maintain litter receptacles. Refer to ordinance. Order that the DPW commissioner is authorized to issue one sewer connection to Briarwood Construction, 31 Belmont Street, Southeast in Mass, for the property located at Plot 9, Circle Street, Brockton. Refer to finance. Order that pursuant to Mass General Laws 44, <laughs> Section 53 and 1 half, city accepts the gift from Nesson 24 of the two non-network level two single head wall mount electric vehicle charges for the use by the Department of Public Works for the two 2015 Nissan Leaf electric vehicles in accordance with the submitted donation agreement, a copy of which is attached here too. Refer to finance. Transfer of $51,051.08 from personal services 
full-time, $22,500. Personnel services stipend, $2,418.68. Personnel services part-time, $26,000. Personnel services holiday, $132.40. Two, ordinary maintenance electricity, $1,600. Ordinary maintenance snow removal, $48,301. And ordinary maintenance goods, $1,150.08. Refer to finance. <coughs> Council Beauregard. Yes, Mr. President, could I have a moment of personal privilege, please? You may. Thank you. Uh, I want to bring up two things here. First of all, we'd like to commend the parents and all the volunteers that were there at Downey School for opening day. Despite the weather, uh, we had, they had a huge turnout and it was just a, a, you know, a wonderful ceremony. We just uh, wish them the best in their season. And I also want to remind everybody that Brockton Kids Count, there's a whole lot going on. Is this referred to as Blitz Week? And do not hesitate to contact our elected officials at the state level to um, inform them that you care about Broughton Kids too. And there's much more information here, and you can check it out at www.broughtonpublicschools.com. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Ianieri. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to remind the members of the uh, Counts Committee that we're meeting next Monday evening at 6.15 p.m. in the GAR room. That's next Monday meeting, and next Monday evening, May 2nd, at the GR room at 6.15 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Lally. I just wanted to uh, announce that this Saturday, um, the 30th, is the opening day for Brookfield Little League. And this Wednesday, the 26th, there will be a open eyes, uh, you know, drug prevention event at Bridgewater State University. It will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and it will be held at University Park. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Farwell. Mr. President, I just have an inquiry to you. I did not make this part of the motion when we referred items 17, 18, and 19 back to finance, and I would like to have the Chief Financial Officer, the Mayor, and Mr. May there because I think there are some items to be discussed. I don't know if that needs to be. I'll, uh, add, them, I'll add them to the list. Thank you very much. Thank you. Council Sullivan. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. I May. just, uh, I attended yesterday the, uh, the opening day at Rock Stadium for Brockton West Youth Baseball. Uh, it was, as always, it was really well attended, but I do want to sp specifically thank Chris English and also Todd Marlin. Chris is the owner of the Rocks and Todd's the GM for accommodating uh, the boys and girls. It's always a special moment. I had my, my two sons yesterday. It's a special moment for those little kids to walk around the stadium. So <laughs> thank you to them and good luck boys and girls. Have a good season. Thank you. Thank Mr. you. Looks like that's it. We're adjourned. <laughs>